Okay, so last time on Farming Simulator, um, I did my mowing. So I mowed up. Uh, this one was already mowed. We'll just speed up a little bit here. And then we mowed up all of this, which is great. Um, I also found out, and I probably remember this from before and then forgot, uh, if you do the mowing of the grass fields after you're done cutting it, you get an extra stage of, um, or sorry, if you do the rolling, yeah, rolling after cutting, you get an extra stage of fertilizer, which then gives me two stages of fertilizer, because you get one stage from actual cutting, and then another stage of fertilizing for the uh, rolling. So, these are now double fertilized fields. So grass is actually a really good option for an intermediate crop. So now that we're in April, I could plant all of this as soybeans, and then harvest it all as soybeans, plant it as grass, and then have it ready to be mowed again before April's planting again. So that's a good cycle for now, I think. So now we just need to till all this up and get it ready for planting in soybeans. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna leave this one. This one I think will be a good one to leave as grass for now because I'm gonna need some for hay. Um, I did it all as, I did it all as hay just now, so I think I'll need the next round as silage, which will be fine. Um, so these two fields can be soybeans. Uh, but let me double check on the, the sizes. So this field is, this field is two and a half acres. This field is four and a half acres and this field is two acres. Uh, and then this one is two and a half, but most of that is taken up by building. So two acres here. Um, so between the two of these, there's probably about two acres of grass to work with. Maybe, I mean, probably about, yeah, a little over two acres of grass to work with here. So that, that'll be fine for silage, I think, for the, for the moment. Um, so 47 and 50 can be uh, soybeans, and then 50 and 45 and 46 are both wheat, which will be harvested in July-August time frame. So we might be able to do the, the grass recycling there as well, or we could replant something like canola or oats or something like that. But for right now, let's get these fields up and running. Hi, Gila. How are you doing? How are you doing, kitty? How are you doing, kitty? We have kitty. suppose I also need to change my game title. Let's do that. Also, you'll notice at the top center, top top right, next to the sun, you'll see that I have an active contract going. Uh, so that is a fertilizing contract for field 70 that I can do. Uh, probably just do that in my own time, that's fine. I did a few contracts in here, which is why my money's a little bit higher than before. Nothing remarkable, just some fertilizing jobs, um, one big cultivating job, and then a couple sewing jobs. So no, nothing, nothing fantastic. I love that this is working perfectly. So all my honey is spawning indoors. That does leave this space open, so whenever this field is uh, ready to harvest and we fix it up again, I think I'll extend this straight line this away. It's going to be the tiniest of changes, but it'll make it nice and straight field. Although that's not as big of a deal now that the, uh, the chickens are gone, because they're not going to get in the way even extend out the field a little bit if I wanted to, but it's nice having a little area to drive. 
Alright, where's my where's my stuff? What am I doing? Hi. Where's my stuff? What am I doing? Uh, I need to do cultivating. Cultivating. Hello? Good, the train's working again. Uh, I did something. I don't know what I did, but I broke the train while I was doing missions last time. But it's working again, so we're good. up again here. Turn off the speed limiter. Just so we can do this a little bit faster. Now after this little stripe here, I'm just going to double check just to make sure it's all working. Fertilizing's good. And that's going to stubble tillage, which is great. Or is that going to heat bed? Going to seed bed. Oh, interesting. Alright, whatever. Uh, the going rate of zombies definitely changes by season, but for right now, they're going for about eh, 50 to 70 ahead, something like that. How's it going, Demos? I mean, it, it takes a lot of effort to, to care for and tend zombies. So if, you know, if you don't have the the equipment, if you don't have the mindset, if you don't have the drive, I would say go ahead and buy it from the store. Store-bought zombies are just fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But, you know, you get a lot more out of it if you do it yourself, both, both emotionally and, um, you know, financially, it is more beneficial to grow your own zombies. But if you don't have the time, or if you don't have the equipment, you know, it's it's perfectly fine to buy your own zombies, buy, buy zombies from the store. Let someone else do that work. Because someone's got to do the work and someone's got to profit from it. not to accidentally plow that other field because that would be unfortunate. Have you had any chance to look into the map making yet? Because I haven't. I got as far as getting the, um, the geographical data and then I just kind of lost all ability to focus on it. To learn the tools. All right.
Yeah, I got in as far as opening up someone else's map and just taking a look around, making a few changes. It was fairly easy to do stuff like move buildings to new locations and whatever. Um, some of the more complicated stuff, like putting all the curbs around streets, for example, those are tricky, surprisingly enough, because they require basically a custom mesh for the entire curb area. Which isn't necessary. I, I can always use, you know, default assets if I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, the tutorials tend to be pretty long for this. The biggest thing I'm trying to figure out to start off with is, you know, just for planning purposes, can I do a map that is long and narrow like that, or do they all have to be the same dimensions? Do they all have to be squares, I think is the standard dimension. Um, and if they have to be squares, you know, how do I, how do I deal with that extra space? There was one map that we played in 19, where the way they dealt with that extra space was just make a bridge, and across that bridge was a big blank green, green field to build on, and do whatever the hell you want to do. So that's a you know, method to deal with it, but I want to do something that's thematic at least. Do you at least like the concept, though? Or am I, uh, am I crazy in the thought? Weird but unique. I can take that. I, li I like weird but unique. Oddly enough, when I looked at the acreage on it, it's not the biggest map. Like, there are much bigger maps out there. Because I think the total acreage of the area we're looking at is... I think it's like 850 acres, something like that. And there's a map already on... What was that? Uh, there's a map already on... Um, mod hub that's like each individual field is up one to two hundred acres. I think the whole thing is probably in the neighborhood of a thousand acres, something like that. So it's not even out of the realm of normal. Yeah, something like that. Either alternative universe where farming is the norm, or uh, alternative future where it is determined that we need to have local sources of food to be able to survive because the whole just-in-time delivery service is not feasible in the long run. So each major metropolitan area ends up needing to have their own fairly sizable farm to keep their, their people fed. rather than what we've got currently, which is like, Idaho grows all of our potatoes. And if you want potatoes and you're not in Idaho, you're probably going to need to find a way to get them from somewhere. A future where supermarkets never became a thing, and instead, actual local food sources. And the, the standard local farm is, is the norm. Yeah, I dig it. I don't know why I'm doing this by hand. I could be doing this. 
this might be a little bit better on my sanity for right now. We'll do we'll do this. Now, the other question, now that I think about it, actually let's uh let's get you working. You'll you'll work well, I think. Um, I have 160,000 bucks. So, I could buy more land, I think. Yeah, I could buy 41 or 42. I could buy 53 or 50 53, not 54 apparently, because that one's got a big greenery space on the end here. 51 I'm not overly interested in, but I might end up buying it if we, would tur if we turn all this into a bigger field. Um, yeah, I think 41 or 42 might be the next best bet. Or we can save up for a bigger one up here. Hmm. 41 might be nice, because that's a pretty sizable chunk of space. Mm. Tempting. Alright, you're gonna work. I'm gonna start up over here. Soybeans. We're gonna do soybeans. And uh, as we get these planted, let's make sure that it's showing up the soybeans. Yes, indeed. So as we get these planted, uh, then I need to do a session of rolling, which is also fine, but that will need to be done by hand. Because for some reason, the workers don't know how to deal with rollers. Ah, yeah, no worries. No no worries, no pressure. I'm just uh, mostly just spitballing, seeing if you'd be interested in uh, joining the process. Hey, Higila. How many just stopped? Obviously, I haven't had much time to look into it either, so whatevs. All good. Hey. Hey.
Oops, kill design. Um, so 41 or 42, let's actually look at contracts and see if there's anything I can do with those. Because if I can get paid for working them first, uh, we can pay to sew them with oats. Interesting, this isn't the time for oats, but sure. Hey, you, sir. Hi. Hi, your face. Okay. Hey. Let's let's get paid to sew forty one with oats, and then buy that one after it's been sewed with oats. How's the rest of that field looking, by the way? Uh, it is cultivated. It does not need lime or plowing. It will need rolling. It's got a crap ton of stones. Um, so, we'll we'll deal with that for one season, and we'll fix it up next season. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So yeah, let's do that contract because that'll be that'll be fun. So forty-one oats, except, and we'll go do that while we got this thing here. being paid to plant it with oats and then we're gonna buy it out from under them. Seems legit. Did I actually hit that or did I miss a spot? That looks fine. Oh, I didn't check the fertilizing. No fertilizer. Okay, well I'm gonna have to fix that. This is probably where it would have been more beneficial to just buy it and then fix it up, but it'll be okay. So this will be pretty much all of my cash. Because it's 150, I think, to buy the field, and I've got 159. So that will be all of my cash, but uh, we'll be we'll be making enough money soon here, I think. And because for some reason this contract is letting me plant oats, um, I'm getting an early start on this crop. I think. No, oats are in season, never mind. I'm, I was confused, but that's fine. Oats are actually a short plant, or a short growth season. I didn't realize that. Hmm, interesting, I like it. Oats it is then. Then we can turn this one into grass, get it all fertilized up. And then maybe get two cuttings out of it before it's time. 
possibly. That'd be nice. Probably gonna need more seed before this is all done. Can I see where my other worker's doing? Other worker's actually done, so we're gonna let worker take this over. And we're gonna finish the last two stripes I missed over there. of these two fields. That one's going to stay green. And then that one over there will be our brand new field as soon as it's done. And then we'll roll that seed bed as well. This one still needs planting with soybeans. That will come in a moment whenever my cedar is free. This looks really bare without any grass on the ground. But that's what happens when you roll it all up. Alright, so now I need my roller. Actually work with this. It does. Good. That's uh, at least a little bit better. Oh, I missed that last bit of rolling.
unfortunately the rolling texture is damn near identical to the planted seed texture. It's only slightly sharper, so it's kind of hard to see sometimes. for sure if this roller is going to cause problems with that grass field if I roll over. So we're going to find out. Because I don't know if I want to have to lift this thing up every time. Do you do, do you do things? You don't do things. Good. Field 41 is technically done, but I think it still has a little bit left to plant. Double check in a sec here. You technically completed your task, technically, but you didn't complete the seeding, so we're going to finish that. Go ahead and fill this up with seeds, so we're going to go back to the shop. And it's not really worth automating that. Okay, let me double check things. know what the capacity of this thing is. <laughs> I, I know even less after I dump it out on the ground. Let's, uh, let's grab that again, because I pushed the wrong button. Um, this button. This button. Uh, this button. Your capacity is 5,800 liters. Okay, so let's buy five then. Alright Demos, have yourself a good night. Thanks for hanging out.
Alright, uh, while I pass by here, we'll take a look at 41. You are fully planted. Good. Oh, and I ran into the, I ran into things. Alright. So, we finished that contract for 41. And then we buy 41. Forty-one get, hooray! So we're gonna need to go roll that, and then uh, probably not gonna be able to fertilize it, sadly. But it'll, it'll be fine. Right, so you need to be soybeans. Planted by a worker because I got other shit to do. Hopefully, he's not gonna drop himself off in the ditch like they tend to do. No, he caught himself. Good. Good. So it's not too terribly comfy to only have 10,000 on hand, but I'm sure it will be fine. how long that takes to lower. Okay. Taking care of the rolling, right? Yes. Good. Job. So these are actually going to be really good soybean fields because they are double fertilized. They're rolled. Uh, they're not mulched because they didn't have any mulching to do beforehand. But that's only 2.5%, I think, lost. Last little sliver here. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I guess I can just go straight to that one because we're we're keeping up just fine. Okay. Let's do that then. Yet. 
I'm going to stop here and we're going to come back to that thought later. Uh, because the worker didn't finish planting on the edge of that. You can see right there. So I'm going to have to come back here and finish planting the parts that the worker missed. And then we can come back and roll. So we'll roll this one instead. Okay, let's let's just do this. This, this. There we go. Just having a hard time lining myself up for some reason. My brain wasn't having it. But it's fine. Now yeah, since we're growing, going across the grain here, it's a lot easier to tell. This be good though, this is a nice size field. This is almost the same volume as my other two fields, my other two big fields combined. So we're essentially doubling our working land space. Not quite, but close. This one is working with the roller. Oh, good, they changed that. It would not work with rollers before. Wonderful. Okay, so now I take you. And I cover up the spot that you missed. Apparently that worker also missed one tiny spot of cultivating. I think. But I'm not sure what that little spot is. Doesn't get planted though, so it's something. Alright, so that bit's taken care of. Is there anything else I missed? Yes, you missed that top section there. Hello. Hello. Well done. doing it's missing a line whatever it's like he'll, he'll get there eventually and, and then there'll be one line for us to do for some reason I don't know why he's missing a line but it's exactly one working width of this thing so who knows 
what I have no idea what it's thinking, no idea what it's doing. But at least we can see what needs to be done, so that's fine. Alright, uh so fifty-five is my wheat field. Oh, God, I forgot about this part. <laughs> Alright. Uh hang on. We're, we're just gonna run over there. I have a little bit of sugar. Just a little bit. Um, but I, I put it in a spot that I didn't realize was the exact spawn point of the player. <laughs> so, since I put it all here, that's where the player ends up when we teleport here. So, I, I keep forgetting I can't teleport here. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of sugar. And we still have 102,000 liters of sugar beet. So that's about a hundred and hundred and something thousand liters of sugar to go. Well, no, it'll be about 70 to 80,000. So 70 to 80 more pallets of sugar to go. Uh, if and when we can sell that stuff, it's going to be a great sell. Unless I manage to turn it all into to chocolate by then, or cake. Uh, I doubt it, though, just because I don't, I don't think speed-wise the cake or even the chocolate will be able to process that much sugar that quickly. So we're just going to have to sell it in bulk. Um best price is in September give or take 1600 per container so whenever we can sell the sugar we're gonna make a lot of freaking money uh, what are we currently at we're currently at 1500 at the dairy 1528 at the fast food restaurant so we're actually not too far down from the max and it's only April so if we wait until uh, June July or even September, we might see the prices go even higher. This number here, for some reason, is not the max. Um, they listed that they were going to put the max when they made the, the change to include that number, but that number does not seem to indicate max or min. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I believe they said that it was going to be the max or min price, but I have seen with my own eyes that the price of the crop can go higher than the number listed here. So I don't know what the hell this actually is, but it's not right. Uh, let's see, honey. Honey might actually be good to sell right now. What do we got? Uh, no, it went down quite a bit. Okay, wasn't paying attention to honey. That's fine. It's fine. Still rolling, most of the way done. You are sitting idle at the moment. Okay. I want to check uh, if I have the mod enabled that I that I think I will play with soon here. Ah, uh, touch, 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 foom. Ah, Alt O. Sell price trigger. So this is the new mod that came out somewhat recently where you can uh, basically set an alarm clock to remind you to sell prices or sell the, your crops when they get to a decent price. Um, so that uh, that honey I was talking about it's currently 3130. Uh, it lists the average or the highest here at 3249. So I'm not entirely sure, because this is 3249 here, but up 
here, 3303 is the listed high. So I don't know where all these numbers are coming from and why none of them are correct, but it's a thing. So if 31 is the current price for honey, that might actually be a good time to sell because we're only a little bit lower than the max. Alright, now that my allergies are almost done trying to kill me. Uh, let's see. And this one says 1579 is the max for sugar. We're at 1525. Um, but 1525 for the sugar max does not take into account that. No, no, that's fast food, fast food restaurant. Maybe now is a good time to sell sugar. Screw it. Let's go sell some sugar. It's a fast food restaurant. And honey is actually not too bad either. And that goes to cereal factory and then fast food restaurant. So that one actually might be better to wait. Because uh, the max on the honey is... $3,200. And yeah, it's $3,100 currently. But that's only at one location that has a, a very low quantity it can store. So I could sell some there, but I won't be able to sell all of it. So I'm going to wait to see what honey prices do. But I think sugar is a good time to sell. Uh, let's set this to highest. And see if that trigger will come up at some point. Because I'm, I'm curious how good this mod is. Eggs are currently good to sell as well. Where are eggs going to? Also, did that save? It did not save, because I didn't hit the save button. Set to highest. Okay. Okay. And then eggs. Also fast food restaurant. Perfect. All right, we're going to do some eggs. I don't think I have too terribly many, but we've got... Did I already sell eggs? And I've got some over here still. Oh, also, I decorated! I, I made a little path driving way up to here. Added a couple bushes around the manure pit to, to hide it a little bit. Um, I, I continued this path this away and this away. Added a little bit of bushing here, just for funsies. Uh, I did... Oh, I did this path around here. And then I added a, a nice, lovely little birch tree and some bushes over here. And I extended out this a little bit. I don't like that we can't have smooth lines for the textures, but they've always been like that, so I'm not sure that's the thing we'd ever be able to correct. But yeah, just did a little bit of decorating. I also did some bushes in here. This is the walking path, and this is the driving path. All of our lovely pedestrians have to w have to walk through the manure pit every time they want to have a walk through my territory. So that's their price that they have to pay. And while I was here, I stored all of my bales up here. So we have a bunch of bales up here. I did not move the... Um, the silage bales over here, because I was being lazy. But the, the silage bales will also go over here. And I was able to do that with my, my tractor, so I can actually come in here with the tractor and pull up the bales and do the work that way instead of by hand, which I appreciate. Uh, we do have some eggs. Probably, probably worth selling anyway, because it's a good price. So, oops, I didn't realize that that was a, a way through. So yeah, let's uh, load up the sugar 
And let's grab the eggs first, because we're here. And I think I'm going to do this without uh, wrong side. Take this guy out, and we're gonna we're just gonna do it by hand for now, because there's just a lot of sugar pellets. And I don't want to be spending the next hour doing sugar pellets. This thing works because this is the auto loading one. So let's switch you to uh, tip side left, curtain left. None of that's working. Cool. Not working as well as I thought it would. Now we've used it before. But something's changed with how it works and it's not working as well. Curious. There we go. Okay. So the curtain has to be open, and then you have to hit the load button. Okay. Got it. So let's close that, and we'll get on our way, and we'll go get all the sugar. Turns out this guy doesn't have a driveway I can use, so we're going through your field. Sorry, buddy. So this is going to be interesting. So we need to open. Uh, tip side right. And then we need to... Enable auto load. Okay. So hopefully this works. Come back for more sugar. All right. Uh, let's do fasten the belts, close the thing, and then we head off to the fast food restaurant. It should be still marked.
Alright, this thing's really heavy. I almost tipped it just now, just going around that corner. Really, really heavy. Ah, right. This is the one that is not well designed for semi-truck usage. Ah, mm. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go through it and hope it works. Come on, eggs. There you go. Okay. So we just got $67,000 from all of that. And I still have a load of sugar to do. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave you open. Leave that curtain flapping on the breeze. And I'm gonna take all the sugar, because I've got more coming. Um, bread. What's bread doing? Bread. 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 Not doing terrible. It's not it's not doing terrible, but we could we could do better. This might require me getting them out of the little corner I shoved them into. So let's, uh, let's just do that. They're too close, actually. There we go. They were too close somehow. Now, bread does not go to the fast food, so I can pick up bread as well. And I think I will just take that to the highest place right now, because they're just 100, 200 bucks off the max, so not too bad. So this load goes to the fast food first, and then I think it goes to the bowling alley, which is up that away somewhere.
interesting. He doesn't want to take the last bits that are under the bread. For some reason. Alright, fine. Bread. I need you to get out of the way, I guess. Being very awkward and un uncooperative. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's get all the bread to. Actually, can we just, uh, unload, Un unload, which is, which button again? Uh. There we go. That's good. All right, and then we go to... Then we go to Bowling Alley. Nope, not, not teleport to the bowling alley. That's not... <sighs> Actually, let's, let's see if we can take care of this quick. So this is that one little strip not done. So we'll go back and do that. And we'll set this guy rolling that field. Yeah, no idea why... A, no idea why it suddenly started working with the workers. Uh, when the rollers haven't worked before. And B, no idea why it skipped all the stuff that it chose to skip. But whatever. It's working-ish now, so that's still a step forward. that just in case I need it and then we're going to get the worker set to work and we'll go back to do truck work So I never did get to finish tagging that place because I kept pushing the wrong button. So bowling, tag place. We're going this way.
Here we are. Never actually been to the bowling place. I've driven past it many times. Bowling alley. And I think a uh, one time I played the bowling using the basketball and the traffic cones. But that's that's it, I think. But we're delivering bread to the bowling alley. For some reason, that's their thing. Ah, oh, so close to having that done. Alright, so we just made 40,000 from bread. That's a good haul. That's, uh, that's nice. Took a while to get that bread under control. But... We have made more than our money back from buying the uh, the bakery in the first place, and I think that might actually cover the bakery and the flour mill just from the first bread sale, not counting the flour that I sold previously. So definitely making a money back, and then some. So now we have 160,000. So I could potentially buy another field, or uh, buy more equipment, buy another production. Um, one thing I did want to check, and I never got a chance to test it, uh, is the dairy that's here. Because I need the dairy come soon. Because I've got milk, and if the dairy does chocolate too, then we can turn that sugar into chocolate. Or at least some of it. Uh, so, let's go do that test after I bring this, this truck home. driving my field. That's just silly. Look. I turned it off, but apparently I didn't... I, I left lights on. There we go. Okay, so you're still rolling. Rolling's good. This is my last field that needs rolling, I believe. Yep, because we did 41. We did 47. 48 is untouched. 55 we can't do. So 50 is going to get done rolling. Look at that weird mess that they're making of the rolling. I don't I don't get it. But at least the worker can do a majority of the rolling. That's That's fine, I guess. Let's see, so we've got oats over here, soybean, soybean, grass, wheat, and wheat. Now, one thing I can try doing, uh, let's go to, let's go to this tractor. This tractor will be fine. I can try to see if the, uh, both the manure and the, uh, the slurry are ready. I don't think there's going to be much ready, but I think some is ready. No, there's 2,900, and that's it. So, uh, that is that. Uh, there's 6,000 manure. I don't know how fast manure spreads, so let's get the manure attachment on this trailer over here and then find out how fast manure spreads. I think the answer is going to be it spreads very quickly, but I don't know what that answer truly is until we find out. So, get you loaded up, get you over to the... Uh, Customizer doodad. A 
oh sure, we'll repair you for $47. Why not? Okay, so you need the manure spreader option. That's the only option that I need. Yeah, that's fine. There's no thin tires on this thing, so it is what it is. I don't know for sure if it's going to destroy any of my crops. We'll find out. So that's the manure spreader option. I don't know if this thing can still hold crops after attaching the manure spreader, so let's find out. No, okay. So we're gonna need to convert this thing back and forth if we're gonna use it for poop versus food. Probably should invest in the power wash for that. Alright, so 6,200 liters of manure. There's, there's not, not a lot, so I suspect it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna do the thing very well. Um, activate double application rate, cause why not? This is probably not the best way to go with this tool. This was absolutely not the best way to go with this tool. Alright, we're going a different way. We're going this way. Alright, so what the hell is it working with on this thing? Fairly sizable. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we already did roughly where I just put the markers at. Turn off that one. So, we did there. So we could start on this side then, just to, just to have a separate spot. Um, but the major spot is right... Here, about, about, yeah. So let's clear that. And um, I guess we start spreading and find out. This is actually lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay. But it is destroying a lot of crops on the way. So, I'm not going to continue that. Because we're, we're destroying a good chunk of the crops that we're just now fertilizing. So that is unfortunate. But, that does tell me that this could be a good option on 41, which just got planted. Well, let's go do that. I suspected it was going to destroy crops because these are big tires on this um, on this spreader. So this is not a crop in progress type option. Uh, this guy claims he's done, but we're going to have to go over his work. But that'll be fine. We'll get some of it done. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do that.
probably not going to get the whole field, but we'll get a decent chunk. Might even be able to come over here with the, um, the slurry as well and get whatever might be left. Yes, birds, run away before you get poop thrown at you. I don't know why I decided to go across this way and continue going across this way. I meant to just do one stripe before going up and down the long way, but whatever, it's fine. We're going to get, I think, two more rows total out of this. Maybe a little bit less. Yep, just a little bit less. That's it. But that was actually almost half the field, so that manure is actually really nice. Alright, well let's just uh, stop all traffic here. And see where I need to take care of with this. Uh, we need to go back and forth a couple times across the top here. And then back and forth double times across the bottom. Alright, that'll be fine. No, car, don't keep pulling forward as soon as I make space. Give me a moment. Do all of it? All of it except for the tiniest little spot. That's fine. Hello, drums! How goes it? You'll be proud, I'm sticking with my, my green fertilizer options. I just spread a bunch of manure and I'm about to go spread some liquid leftovers as well. cows now. Weren't you there for the cow acquisition? I was pretty sure you were there for that. visit the cows in a moment here. I gotta do that anyway to pick up the next round of fertilizer. But, this is all done. Wonderful. So, I did the full mowing. 
I have prepared and replanted 47 and 50 with soybeans. 41 is a brand new field that I just bought. It's been planted with oats and about a third fertilized with whatever I had on hand. Oh, you hate the little dot? Okay, we'll fix the little dot. It does kind of suck. Right, where are you, little dot? Straight ahead. That's the problem with the little dot, is I can't even see the little dot. Are you the little dot? I think that's the little dot. Are you the little dot? Yeah, that was the little dot, okay. You would not like watching Daggerwind play this. Daggerwind is one of the biggest farm sim YouTubers. And he is notorious for leaving little dots everywhere. Eva. Hi. don't even know where the hell I was going. I completely spaced out. I need to go this way. Boop. Ah. Boop. It's not too bad to manage actually getting everything. The worst part is these little bits here. Like that's just how the textures get painted and there is not an easy way to fix that. So when you start doing painted textures yourself, it tends to be a bit of a problem. But if you don't do any terrain editing like I've been doing, all the existing painted stuff is just fine. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this... Um, uh, um, I don't really have a good place for this actually. Here, let's put it... Let's put it here. Hey, Gila. I'll put you up in the trees. It'll be fine. So... Uh, let's grab, yeah, go in here, go this away, go this away. Go this away. That's a really tight area back there. Probably should widen that out a little bit. Okay, stop here. So this is my new cow shed. We got a straw bedding area for the cows. We've got cows. Moo. And then we've got different kinds of cows. And this is their food area. Moo. And this is the milking parlor. So currently we have 10,000 liters of food left. Uh, we've got 15,000 liters of straw left. I think they go through... Um, I've only got like 10 cows right now. Um, so I think they go through like 300 liters of straw and 1,000 liters of food per month. So that's going to crank up if I get more cows. 
Milking parlor is the official term. At least the last term I heard. And this is the astronaut milker. So, you know, odd farm terms. Uh, slurry's out. Manure's out. Uh, we've got 4,000 liters of milk. Uh, I was going to go do the dairy thing next. Um, but I want to finish doing the fertilizing. Milk stuff will get big time even more once I get that thing filled with cows. I started with 10. Uh, I'm going to see how quickly they can breed out. I might just let them breed up all the way. I might buy a few more. I haven't decided yet. Alright, so you are double application rate. How big's your working width? No, oh, I actually fertilized part of the neighbor's field. How dare I? Ah, uh, that's your working width. Okay. A little bit bigger. Okay. I don't quite know where it starts to spread out the backside, though. So we'll start you, uh, I don't know, here? Yeah, that seems fine. Yes, I should charge my neighbor for the service. That'll be 33 cents, please, because that's about how much that was worth. Um, I don't know about dairy cows, but there is a market for the beef variety. Um, so if you, if you end up buying the ones for beef, they grow up fatter and sell for a whole heck of a lot more. Um, dairy cows might not, I don't know for sure, but we could definitely find out. Okay, so that field got about two-thirds done. I don't have any other fertilizer I can throw on that at the moment, but I might later on. Yeah, there's no official meat in this game. Meat is something that a lot of farm games tend to shy away from because it makes people squeamish. But there is a beef cow variety in this, and you just take them to market and sell them. And you're just getting the sell price of the actual cow. No one speaks of what you're actually doing with said cow. Alright, so we're going to park you there. Uh, I think, I think I'm done with the season. Unless I want to do more cow buy before I change seasons. Hello, Gila. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why they shy away from it. Like, even if it's just, you know, like all of the other products, a wooden box that says meat on the side of it. Like, why, why are they shying away from what is a normal human process? But whatever, it's fine. Whatever. I don't agree with it. I, I feel like they should be doing it. I believe modders have added it in at some point. But whatever. If I wanna, if I wanna do proper meat processing, I can go play Ranch Simulator. Oh yeah, there's a lot of negative public publicity around it. It's just... And there's there's a lot of really poor practices around it too. Poor animal conditions, dirty conditions, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I get it. But still, 
they could they could do it in a way that promotes good um, animal husbandry practices. But whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I have one hundred forty-eight thousand dollars. I could buy more land. I could buy field forty-two and get that one going. Um, I could buy more cows. I'm pretty sure I could continue feeding them for a little while. Uh, I could potentially buy more machinery. Right? Make sure they've got all the proper nutrition, make sure they've got um, proper grazing fields, um, make sure that their living conditions are nice and cozy. Most humane uh, killing methods, clean and safe processing methods. I mean, there's so many different things that could be done to promote good meat processing, but they just won't do it. They they will not touch the topic. The closest that they've done to touching the topic actually is kind of surprising um, because they actually do offer a beef cow variety. And the fact that they actually listed as a beef cow variety is a big step in the, the direction that they normally have refused to go. Previous versions, they just listed them as cow. And they had no difference between milk varieties versus beef varieties. They just listed them as cow, and if you wanted to sell your cows back to market for profit, you could do that, but there was absolutely no discussion whatsoever that those cows were going for meat. Um, but now, at the very least, it's a thing. It technically says this type of cow is bred for profit and can be sold, but we all we all know what that means. It's an Angus cow. I mean, come on, it's a beef cow. <laughs> so, what do we do? What do we do? I could I could buy more cow. So what I've got in here is I've got, uh, nope, I've got, uh, where's the thing that lets me see what my current animals are? This is the one that lets you buy animals. Where's the, I guess we can do it from in here. Uh, I got five of each that are 21 months, so I bought them as adults. What do I do? What is life? What's going on? Uh, more cows. Go buy more cows. Get more milk and more fertilizer production going. Um, I could... I could... I, oh, right. Before I do anything else, let me, um, let me go do the thing. Save. Turn off. And we're going to go to the dairy, and we're going to test out the dairy. 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 Okay, so this dairy does do butter, cheese, and chocolate. So this is good. Um, oh, and they changed chocolate to require milk. Okay, so previously, uh, I don't know how long ago this was, but previously chocolate was made out of just sugar. And I found that amusing, but it was a way to use your sugar. So now it requires milk, which is fine. So that means I need to up my milk production. But this does chocolate, so the one that's in the other map does not do chocolate. It only does butter and cheese. So I wasn't sure if this one would do chocolate as well. So the question then is, do I keep this dairy? Because I now have milk to start turning into things. Uh, or do we save this for later when I have more milk? You know what? Let's go, let's go all in cows. We'll, we'll buy the dairy and we'll go buy more cows.
So we'll buy more cow. Uh, the dairy is where almost all of the milk is used, um, but we also have, uh, let's go to here, uh, the bakery can use milk directly and it needs butter to be able to make cakes. So if I get that dairy moving, I'll need to move some milk over here and turn some of that milk into butter so we can make cakes. And actually, as since I've got that dairy now and I get some milk transported over, um, the only thing that I'm missing is the strawberries, and then we'll be able to start making cakes. So that'll be nice. But that's all, that's all a significant amount of time required to make cakes. Uh, in the meantime, I don't think anything else uses milk directly. So you can either sell milk directly, or you can convert it into butter or cheese or chocolate, and then sell those as a higher value final product. So this is almost one to one. It's 15 to 13 for butter. Uh, cheese is a little bit lower of a ratio, three to two. And then chocolate is a one to one with milk and sugar. So we've got the dairy now. So let's go ahead and transport some milk over. Um, I have 4,000 liters, I think. So let's get you. Um, the only reason not to move forward with the dairy building right now is that I just don't have that much milk. I have 4,000 liters of milk, and that's it. But, since I can buy more cows, I can start producing more milk. So it's less of a concern. Yeah, where the hell do I get my milk out of this thing? Is it, is it through here? Looks like it might be through here. Um, I would just sell the milk directly, if not for the dairy building. Because I can't do anything else with it. If I'm not going to turn it into cake, I would just have to sell it directly. Which is fine. It's perfectly fine. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, hey. That's a thing. Hold on. Hang on. We're reloading quick. I'm gonna sell the milk to the dairy first to get the money for it, and then I'm gonna buy the dairy out from under them. So I get paid for my milk. <laughs> and then I get to use said milk. Hello, Gila. Hello, Kitty. How are you? We're gonna we're gonna do a treat time because Kitty's demanding. A wise man once said, "Gizmo poofed the tail out." And the earth. I don't know why he did it. it oh, you're pushing the treat button? Nice. Kitties appreciate it. Okay, so let's do the milk delivery first then. The kitties are pretty great.
Okay, how do I get over to the dairy from here? I have to go this way. Okay. And of course, Gila's done quick, and Gizmo's licking the leftovers. Now we buy it. There. I got 9,500 bucks, and then I, I bought the dairy thing for 70,000. Okay, so now, um, butter, we're gonna turn off cheese production for now, because I don't need that. We're gonna be making butter, and then as soon as I have some sugar available, I'll bring some of that over to make some chocolate, just for funsies. I don't actually need chocolate, so maybe I do focus on butter for now <laughs> there there was a little bit of don't judge me there oh and actually let's change you Distributing. Let's see how well that works. Um, bread, flour, all of those things are set to flour can be changed to distributing as well. I know he wants more. Interested. They are uninterested in the toys because they want the treats instead. Okay. They're done. Let's set you. Eh. Eh. Set you to distributing for now because that'll just all go into here. This can be set to distributing, which will send it over to the bakery, hopefully. We'll see how that all works out. Okay. So let's go buy some more cows. I don't know how many I can comfortably feed. So that's a concern of mine.
but I think before we switch over to the next month, I probably should have some more food in there as well. turn fast enough. Let's see. Um, I think just to get more cows producing, let's buy five more of each of the adults. Hello cows. Moo. Right now we're just going to do some of these bales by hand, but uh, I will ultimately want to do this by proper lifting techniques. Still a cheater, yep. Always be cheating. Uh, apparently as much as they're going to take for now. That's fine. We'll just bounce off the wall. Cool. I don't have an easy place to park any of this stuff. I probably should do something about that. Uh, and then this guy we need. Hmm. That went well. So it turns out that little corner is really too sharp for this thing.
Alright, so the capacity on this thing. Let's find out. Capacity on this thing is... Uh, 22,000. Okay. So the capacity on this thing is 22,000. And we need somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% uh, straw... Or 50% silage, 50% hay, and then up to 20% straw replacement. Okay, so if I do two of these, that's 7,000 liters, and I'll take this whopping extra 24 liters here. Uh, you are 2,000 liters. Okay. Uh, so we could do more hay. And then a bit of straw as well. I don't know if 5,000 liters of straw is the right answer, though. So let's put in... Half of that? Or all of it. That's cool. Nope. I need... Nope. Alright. Well, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, so if I throw in extra grass, that should make up for the difference. Yeah, it turns out a lot of this is not convenient in spacing. It really isn't. Okay, uh, I don't know how much I can fit in here. Without causing problems, at least. Uh, need a little bit more grass to get that uh, straw number under 30%, I think it is. Then otherwise, this is a good mix. I think I can get away with throwing the rest of that straw in there to fill out the, the container. Let's do 2,000 at a time. Perfect. Okay. Yep. We can just throw the rest of this thing in there. Most of the rest of this thing in there. Yeah, this, I did not make this very convenient to drive around and through and stuff. So we're going to figure some out for that. Uh, you are tip side left. This is good. Where's your... Where's your trigger? Where's your trigger? Oh, it needs to turn on first. Right, forgot about that. It's on. That's another 22,000 liters of food in there. That should last them hopefully a little while. I will need to keep an eye on some numbers first to see how much they're going to eat. So we currently have 
20 cows, 32,000, 32 and a half thousand liters of food, and 21 and a half thousand liters of straw. So, I think I am ready to skip to next season. And we'll see what happens. Uh, probably should turn off this tractor. So next season, before I go too far, uh, is going to be May, and there's not going to be anything to do other than contracts and stuff. And making sure the animals are well fed and taken care of. Oh, I didn't check my chickens. You should check my chickens. Oh, they're fine. They have plenty of food. Alright. Sleepy time. So I have a feeling that other than taking care of the animals, I'm going to be sleeping through the next couple months until harvest. Because other than doing contracts, there's not too terribly much to do. Uh, unless my grass grows and can be mowed properly. Alright, so we've got two more months left on the wheat. I'm gonna zoom by here. Grass has started. Soybeans have started. Uh, we do have weeds to take care of, so I could do some weeding. Uh, I just got an achievement called Clucky Streak. What is that for? Something egg related. Some something egg related. I don't know what it is, but something egg related. Alright, sure. Why not? Uh, chickens. I did just birth another 60 chickens. Okay. So, 26, almost 27,000 liters of food left for the cows. So they burned through... Uh, how much do we have? At 32 and a half? So they burned through four and a half thousand liters of food. Okay. And two liters of straw. Or two thousand liters of straw. But we got two thousand liters of milk out of the deal and four thousand liters of slurry plus three thousand liters of manure. So, doing good. And a regular old weeder for these, okay? Okay, let's do weeding. Now let's go take a quick run to our sugar mill. Where we have 11,000 liters of sugar produced. Probably should have checked the bread before I ran over to the dairy. Uh, dairy, where are you, dairy? Dairy? Dairies over here. Da dairy? Dairy! Here we are. Uh, that is all being converted and I think sold or sent. Yes, we have 2,400 liters of butter here. Good, good. So for right now, I'm going to turn that off of distributing, because I got enough butter sent over. This is good. Uh, this way. Zoom. I could just teleport over, but it's kind of more fun to zoom. We have 2,000 liters of bread made, ready to go. And I don't think I've got anything flower-wise. I think that's fine. Sugar's still processing. That's fine. Plenty of sugar to be had. Okay. So, let's do the weeding. Uh, 
Yeah. Actually. Hang on. Let's get some chocolate making. Turn off the butter for the moment. Let's get some chocolate going with that last bit of milk. And where did I... Where did I park my tractor? This one. This one. Where am I even going with this thing? What am I doing? I, I've lost track of my life. Alright, we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw this in the bakery. It's not much, but it will get started. That's milk at the bakery. Now we're just going to leave this guy here. Not often I use this thing. But we can use it for stuff. this away, pick up whatever eggs managed to come out of the chicken so far. I don't think it's much, I think it's like a few hundred liters, something like that. But it's something. And we'll, we'll get more later. Eggs. Come on. Get. Get. Plow through the neighbor's crops. Actually, this is his crop of weeds, so nothing, no, nothing lost there. And then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna grab one of these. Now, we have 
everything that we need to make cake except for strawberries. So I'm gonna go get a greenhouse quick. We're gonna do that. Um, also, I don't think I need, I don't need chocolate for the greenhouse. I'm actually gonna reactivate this. I'll make chocolate later when we have more milk available. But for right now, let's make more butter. Where do I want the greenhouse? I, I, I haven't the foggiest. Uh, I might be able to fit it here. No, there's too much crud there. I could turn this greenery into a greenhouse. Let's first see how big the greenhouse is. I think I'm just gonna do the biggest greenhouse because why the hell not? Oh, it's tiny. It's itty bitty. In that case, I might put it over here where the uh, chickens used to be. Because I've already kind of decided I hate this area. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. Is it V? Yeah, I think V is the answer there. Okay. So we'll put you right there. And see if I need to do any adjustment to the terrain. I don't think I do. Because these will... A little bit floaty here, so it'll be fine. I might raise the train up just a hair to get to the bottom of that greenhouse. Because I didn't want to do any more terrain editing, so I chose not to. Uh, so let's do that, actually. Construction. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't done a save, just in case. So let's do flattening of the terrain here. Nope, oh, that doesn't wanna doesn't wanna happen. Alright, let's uh raise you up just a little bit. Nope, that's not going to happen. Okay. How about... Hmm. Definitely gets a little bit fucky over here. Something with this spot doesn't want to be raised up. It'll be fine. So I just need to set this to strawberries. They're all sad and dead and withered. I haven't even started yet. Way to make me feel bad, game. Uh, and then we take this guy. Get some water. Now, they said somewhere around in the farm is a good place to get water. I just need to figure out where that spot is. It was taken from the stream. Nope, that's not it. 
How about I just drive through the stream until it works? Doesn't even look like much of a stream, does it? No? No, not gonna work for me? Oh, there's my chicken disaster. We'll uh, ignore that part. So, in that case then, since I can't easily get water from the stream, we'll get water from a pump. I shall put nearby. Wherever the pump may be. Oh god, which of these? Which which of these? suddenly changed so drastically. Uh, let's see, where do I want to get the water from? I mean, I could always use an actual hydrant. Because we, we definitely have these. This this whole map, by the way, is based basically in Minnesota. And that's where I'm from. So I could definitely just, you know... Put a fire hydrant on the side of the road, where they tend to go. Oh. That was weird. And of course it's going to save that. Okay, well that's fine. You do what you gotta do. If I have to clean it up because it's fugly, I'll do that later. It only caused a minor problem. I can come back and fix that. these things. Hate them. That's fine, we got water. So another tank of water should be just fine. And these strawberries, I'm gonna actually change that straight to distributing for now. I light, hello, welcome. How you doing? So these uh, strawberries that get created are gonna distribute straight to my cake making process. And I'm gonna have cake producing very soon here. I wasn't expecting to, but I managed to get all the way to cake tonight. Very much in the early stages of cake making, uh, because I don't have a high milk production yet. I don't have much in the way of butter yet. Um, my strawberries are just starting to come out. I don't have very many eggs yet. So much sugar. Don't even need to worry about that. But we're making the beginnings of cake. Or we'll be in like a moment. Let me go finish delivering this little batch of water here and then I'll speed up time a little bit so we can see at least a little bit of cake made.
Oops. I forgot to let the door open and that made it harder to navigate. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Alright, this can just go there. Sure, right there. <laughs> Alright, so we have five liters of strawberries. Uh, I don't have anything else to do for this part of the day, so we're just going to speed up some time. Nope, push the correct button to speed up time, please. Speed up a little bit of time. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six. Uh, we have two hundred liters of strawberries that have been delivered. I already have 61 liters of cake. Now, as I noticed here, we get five liters of cake on 192 cycles per month. So per month, we're getting just shy of a thousand liters of cake. I did the math wrong on that before. I thought it was one. So I thought that this was gonna take us six months to get a thousand liters of cake, but one month gets us just shy of a thousand liters of cake, so every month or so we're going to have a pallet to sell. Assuming I can keep up the quantities here. Which I don't think I'll be able to at the moment, but soon. So while we're speeding through time a little bit here, let's check on everything else. We got the newer coming. We got more eggs coming. I'm pretty sure we've got a lot of honey. Yeah, we got a lot of honey. We got a little over five pallets here. We've got ten pallets up there. We need to be able to sell honey at some point. But for right now, we're making strawberries and we're making cake. That's important. All right, I'm gonna slow down time again. So we have we have completed our goal, our objective. Now let's quick check on the animals. So about a half a day, we get another half a half a whatever, 500 liters of milk. We'll probably have enough slurry and manure to finish off. Uh, my other field, my 41. All right then. So that will actually be about it for tonight. What I'm probably gonna do in my spare time is I'm gonna skip forward a couple months. I might do a few contracts. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna do the the weeding, which I'll get started here now while we're talking. And then uh, I will do a mowing of the grass if necessary. I don't know how many months I'm going to end up skipping or even if I'm going to have a chance to play all that much. I don't know yet. And I'll take care of the animals. I will do all of the things. And then if I end up getting a chance to play enough, we'll probably end up playing next time ready to harvest some of these things. At the very least, probably the wheat since that is due uh, July, so that'll only be two months skipped, and the oat as well. So let's get the weeding started. So yeah, just doing just doing some lovely weeding, Keep, keeping with the uh, the chemical free tradition, if at all possible.
So yeah, I'm gonna carry this on, possibly with a worker, because I don't want to have to pay attention to it at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'll be done. So the weeding will be taken care of. I might go spread the rest of the fertilizer on that oat field over there, and if I have any left, I will do... I'll probably do a little bit on 55 if I can get away with it. I don't know if, it, if... I know the manure spreader will destroy crops. I don't know if the slurry spreader will. It didn't before, but that might have been before the crop was grown enough for that to be a problem. So that might just... that field might just be as is, and I can't do anything about it. Um, but yeah. My brain's dead, and that's fine. I've had a, I've had a long day. So that'll be it for today. Um, we did some zombies earlier tonight, and then we switched over to farming as per usual for Mondays. Uh, tomorrow night is wide open. I don't have any specific plans. I have some things I want to do, though. So we might throw up a vote in Discord, and probably same for Wednesday and Thursday, because I don't have any plans all week. So yeah, fun times. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows that I might have missed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.